yeah, 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 yeah. People that do not know a thing just want to speak because they are trying to chase clout. Actually, we're talking about Linda Ikeji. Madam, if God made me a real life princess, yeah, 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 where well, you will never be, Madam, on clean money, take several seats. Hello, Trending G's lovers. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your girl, Octavia Cora. So we're here to talk about a post from Linda Ikeji. Yes, we're discussing uh, Meghan and Harry, okay? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Those are the people we're discussing because those are the people that Linda's message was directed at. And I feel like this is just so unreasonable on so many levels. So before we even dive into that, if you love Trending Gist and celebrity gossip and whatnot, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification bell. Let's be analyzing and dissecting together. That being said, drop your comment below and let me know your thoughts as I'm going to read to you what she tweeted out or what she posted to her Instagram story and whatnot about the... Uh, Megan and Harry's documentary series that is just uh, been released on Netflix. Okay, if you've not seen it, go check it out and you can draw your own conclusions. But let, let's quickly dive right into this. And I just feel like Linda Cage is just being so, so hypocritical. She's just so ignorant to even dare to say a thing like this. But I'll leave you to be the judge. Let's dive right into what she said. Okay. This is from Linda EKG, the famous Nigerian blogger, Madame Unclean Money. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, she said, The way Meghan has commonized Harry is sad to watch. A real-life prince making a mockery of his life and selling to Netflix. It should be beneath him. But Meghan, oh, Meghan, sigh. <clears throat> With a sad face emoji. <laughs> Look who's talking. The blogger that is busy, that was uh, allegedly busy blackmailing people and all of that. That's why she's as famous as she is. Yeah, now you have some morals and know what is supposed to be beneath people. Anyway, she didn't end here. We're going to dive into the second part of what she wrote. Let's do this. All right. So, Linda Ikeji went further to say, If God made me a real-life princess, I had used the platform to touch and change lives and not constantly whining like a little girl and estranging my man from his family. If the royal family didn't approve of Harry marrying Meghan, he would not have married her. So why all this unnecessary war? Are we supposed to feel sorry for her? Why uh, villainize her in-laws? Rest, I beg, Meghan. This is these are her words, okay? These are words from Linda EKG. Like she feels like she knows everything. And it is such a shame. And I will explain to you why this is even making me upset. You know, likes of uh Pierce, uh, what is what what is his name? Something Pierce, whatever his name is, or Morgan or whatever, that has been dragging Megan and the other one with the all the her name is also Megan, whether Megan Kelly or something. What's what's that one's name with the bent nose that has also been dragging Megan and Harry? These are people that should just take several seats. But seeing someone like Linda Ikeji joining with in this group of people just makes me upset because this is now. Don't get me wrong, defending people it's okay when someone is doing something that is not right and the people are worth defending. Get my point? Defend people or persons or families that are worth defending. One of those families in this planet Earth that is not worth defending is the royal family. That royal family. So I don't even understand why Linda AKG felt like she needed to say something about this docuseries. You were not forced. Nobody forced you to turn on your TV and go to Netflix and watch that video. There are so many other channels and so many other things you would have done with your time. But no, you just want to be the busybody that you are. And now you have a say. You that you started your blog by posting fake news about other people, not caring how you're denting people's images, blackmailing people and all of that just to get to the top by fire by force. That's why I refer to your money as unclean money. Now you have have a say now you think you have morals now you feel like what and by saying if i was a real life if god had made me a real life princess look god is not a fool god is not man god knows and he knows the kind of person you are he knows the kind of heart you have that's why you are not a princess and you will never be a princess you're not from a royal home you will never smell it you're not close so take several seats linda ikeji take several seats because if you want to talk 
We all know how it happened with this same guy that you're saying, why is he talking about his family? He's doing this. This should be beneath him. You know how his mother died. You've never lost a parent, so you will never understand in the public eyes and all the whole story that followed with this father's side chick now that is now becoming their older queen. Did you have anything to say? Did you say anything about the death of Princess Diana? Do you think the way she was treated was right? Let's jump to the next phase. You defending these same people that colonized your own people makes you a big fool. Let's not even get into that because we will not live here today if we have to dive into that. Let's move to the next phase. Is it not the same a member of that royal family that was accused of being involved with the whole, uh, is it Epstein, Weinstein, whatever Stein, uh, case of child molestation and every other person was brought to book except the member of the royal family allegedly that person was never prosecuted for all the crimes that he committed that they were trafficking young girls young models to them for for them to use as if they are uh, toys and all of that so linda ekg take several seats and shut your mouth if you cannot study take your time to do research to know things shut your bloody mouth and stop talking nonsense this is really a big shame coming from you as a blogger from nigeria it is a big shame take several seats and shut up